As of recent news, 90 Day Fiancé star Andrew accused Amira Lolisa of lying and also revealed that he got massage in Mexico for a legit painful reason. He quickly became the most disliked cast member in the show. His blaming TLC for TV tricks and Amira for being an attention seeker continues to grow even after the season 8 finale. But there is also some hint of truth that Andrew's claims about the alleged bad Puerto Vallarta edit. With each and every allegation that Andrew had against his 90 Day Fiancé ex on the social media, the guy became more and more hated for the fans. The TLC viewers also saw that Andrew was trying to explain everything from why Amira actively pursued prisoners to Andrew getting the much-talked-about massage. Also, fans were actively critical of Andrew Kenton's bad and reckless behavior with Amira on 90 Day Fiancé ever since, the masses he made the Mexico plan. Andrew also posted some screenshots to show that it was her doing all along. Furthermore, he also launched in Puerto Vallarta Resort, which his ex-fiancé suffered for three long, painful days in detention. Episode 8 of 90 Day Fiancé saw Amira being deported back home after the testing ordeal was over. A later scene shot in the summer of 2020 shows Andrew getting a massage and as on the voiceover record that he spoke something about needing a little bit of healing. According to Andrew, his excuse to be indulged in a vacation was in fact getting treatment for an accident. One specific message from Amira says, Love you baby, many business to you and yawn your booze. Andrew reported that booze are only injuries that he sustained from the bad accident. While Andrew is trying to keep his level best to take off his name, Amira continues to be appreciated for getting out of the toxic relationship. But Andrew seems to be appreciated in making fans and his followers to see that Amira doings are fake, not on time, but time and again. The question arises, will 90 Day Fiancé fans give Andrew a second chance to start their relationship all over again of will the season 8 tell-all be the last devoted fans of the show will ever see of the Roseville native?